Welcome to Defiant Muses. Uh, the exhibition is um, looking into the ways in which women listened to other women through the means of video making in the times when feminism, um, its second wave as it's called, was emerging in France. Uh, and it looks also how immediately this movement was um, interested in being not only in solidarity with what was happening in other places outside of France, but also all kinds of issues that uh, were related to um, a condition of being a contemporary woman in a society that is oppressing uh, uh, the womanhood and the woman's subjectivity. Um, so how a video can, could enable um, uh, federations, alliances and um, more action. And the starting point of the exhibition is the figure of Delphine Serig. Delphine Serig was a French uh, actress in 1960s uh, French uh, auteur cinema. And after 68, uh, uh, at the beginning of the 1970s, she became increasingly committed in the feminist movement in France. And the, around 1974, she started to work with video and she encountered uh, Carole Roussopoulos who was uh, already uh, um, producing video with her husband, Paul Roussopoulos, and she was uh, uh, teaching uh, how to make video to a group of women. So the Finceri participated in those uh, uh, teaching lessons, and how, that's how they became acquainted. And they formed together with Joanna Wider, who was a long-term friend of the Finceri, the group Les Insoumises. So starting from this trajectory, the, the exhibition looks at the connections between the history of cinema, the beginning of video, and also the history of women's cinema, because during the 1970s, as she became more and more involved in the feminist movement in, in video making, she also continued her career, mostly working with women filmmakers, such as uh, Chantal Ackermann, Marguerite Duras, Ulrike Ottinger, who we also feature in the exhibition. But uh, the, the, the exhibition is not a monographic show about the Finserig, of course, this is also like the, the central point of a much larger network of alliances, collaborations, uh, um, coalition with other women from different backgrounds. The exhibition also sh features several documents from personal archives of uh, the Finserig or uh, Centre Audiovisuel Simone de Beauvoir, which was a pioneering institution for distribution, production, conservation of video related to feminist struggles that the three women actually founded in early 80s and that is still um, exists and is very much active and functions as a, uh, an activist organization still today in Paris. Uh, and aside of the videos, what some documents show is that how, um, especially these three women, uh, but also if we look just at the, at the figure of Delphine Serig, how somebody who came from a background that had, um, you know, privileged um, position in society, visible, um, uh, very internationalist uh, family as well, how this privilege has been always a source of um, extreme self-reflection and of a space of exploration to give voice to those that might not have the same voice uh, as uh, she had. And maybe um, it's also important to say that drawing from the model of the Centre du Visuel Simone de Beauvoir, which is a video audiovisual archive, the show moves from uh, the early days in the movies, in the cinema industry, with the first uh, room focusing on you know, the, 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 the deconstruction of the cinematic figure of the, of the um, actress towards the beginning of the 1980s and the question of the archive, the history of genealogy. But we also organized the exhibition as a place where people can spend time, look at films, sit down, look at videos with headphones, etc. So kind of reconstruct, uh, of propose an archival structure that it's a kind of travel across uh, struggles and moments in the French history. And we end up with the last section of the film, which is more like uh, um, uh, focused on the 1980s, which, uh, it's, which is also related to the history of the Centre Simon de Beauvoir, its constitution, the, you know, the question of genealogy and relations between uh, 
different generations of women involved in the feminist movement. And what is also interesting to add is that um, where is the importance to see and we see exhibitions like that today is also to give uh, material uh, that helps us to reflect if today in actual moment we have come somewhere <laughs> a little bit more far in these discussions or are we in the same situations as women as uh, you know uh, Absolutely. Feminists yeah. as uh, in, in a moment, in a crucial moment if ti in mm. time. Uh, and where I we think are that the, 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 um, the many struggles that are documented in the exhibition, that are activated, I would say, in the exhibition through the videos of Les Insoumises and all the other subjects, other collective, gives like a mapping of the struggles of the 1970s, which included uh, um, sexuality, reproduction, uh, sex work, uh, uh, LGBTQ uh, subjectivities, but also racism, uh, uh, torture, political prisoners, etc. And the question of uh, uh, women in the film industry, of course, which very strongly resonate with today. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>